Welcome to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Lon Paul, and we're going to do a uh, new series of videos. We're starting with a little bit something different here. Now, I've been watching, and you have seen as well, the good old permadeath, no starter ship challenge, otherwise known as the Iron Man challenge. So a variation to it that Jason does on occasion, and he's been doing some of these more and more lately um, on Jason Plays. And that is the impossible challenge. And what this challenge involves is the same exact type of run, except without a HUD. So without having to, the ability to see anything around you. So we're going to do what he does, and we're going to go ahead and get into the permadeath challenge here. We're going to max out everything as we normally do. Save, delete it, as you can see. Everything is going to be super expensive and harsh. Challenging enemy strength. Disable the tutorial. Not that the reputation and standing make any difference, but we'll go ahead and do that too. And we're going to lock out the difficulty settings so we can't come back here and cheat. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and confirm and start this. And then as soon as the game starts, we're going to go ahead and adjust the, the settings in the uh, menu to get rid of our HUD. So we can't see anything around us. So... Uh, I watched one of his runs for about an hour, and he did fairly well. He was very fortunate to stumble across several things. One, he started right next to a cave, which was great. Um, plenty of supplies around him. He was able to get carbon in the cave as well. So he was actually in excellent condition to get things going and moving along. So here we go. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. Immediately go into here under the general options. And we're turning off the HUD. There we go. Okay, so how do you tell what's going on if you disable your HUD? Well, first things first, if you look at the backpack, you get a blue bar and a red bar. That indicates where your um, levels are in regards to... Good grief, I have nothing around me. In regards to your health and your hazard protection. So I know that these are carbon, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these real quick. And I really got to get moving here, I can't mess around. And you see the sparks, that indicates that you're taking the item that's there. If you don't get sparks, it means that it's... You're not getting anything out of it. Again, I have no idea what direction I'm headed. I don't know where I am, what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm gonna die, that's what I'm gonna do. We need as much ferrite dust as I can, and I know I get that from rocks. I'm not getting anything from that, so I'm gonna hold off on that one. I do need carbon, so I'm gonna get as much carbon as I can. But I gotta watch my levels. My hazard protection is gonna drop like a rock here. Okay, lots of carbon, 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 carbon. All right, looks like we're going right through that one for some reason. Okay, let's head up here and look for things like sodium and stuff. Again, we have no visor because it's not repaired. It's not even telling us about that, so we're gonna get very little in the way of messages of how much that we're gathering or anything like that. I know we need ferrite, so I've got to gather that up so I can repair my unit here. And we're just going to head in this general direction. Uh, I definitely need this. And you look at my backpack, you see the red bars dropping. That's my hazard protection. So I'm going to need some sodium soon, or I'm going to die. Or cave, one of the two. Just going to head in this general direction. This is a good find right here. This is condensed carbon. This is going to help us out so much. I need to find a cave. Bad. Or a yellow flower, and this is the wrong planet to be looking for a yellow flower on, as you can see. Oh my gosh, is that? I think that's a patch of sodium. It is. Son of a gun. Wow, did we get fortunate here, huh? So in lieu of a cave, we found a sodium patch. And you notice that there's no AI telling us, that, hey, your hazard protection's dropping. So all the wishes have come true, right? I don't have to listen to that voice anymore. And now you miss the voice a little bit. 
Let's go ahead and recharge. And we're going to use that on there. No, I don't want that. We're going to recharge our... Okay, life support's at 79. Hazard protection's only at 88. We get fortunate and get ourselves a decent planet here? Huh. Is it really not hurting us that badly? I need the carbon because i got to build carbon nanotubes. Let's see what we can build. Should be able to get two carbon nanotubes out of this. I want to die hydrogen out of this. I do want the carbon nanotubes. Looks like I can get two. Let's get to our multi-tool. We have enough ferrite dust to repair. And... We need an analysis visor, which we're going to use one of those carbon nanotubes there. We do need... Let's put this over here. That's handy. And we do need a terrain manipulator. So we need one more carbon nanotube, but I don't think we have enough carbon to get one. No, we're going to need more carbon. Because, if you can see that damaged machinery there, we've got some stuff around us that we can get. I'm not sure if that's carbon or not. How much carbon did we get? Not enough to get that. There. I think we got enough for one more. And now we can repair this. Alright. Again, see? You have no idea what you're selecting. And what you're getting. Okay, we got nanites, I think, out of that. Yep, C26. Alright, so let's go ahead and dig around here. We should find something. Got plenty of sodium, don't we? And we're going to see if we can find the buried technology that should be somewhere within this vicinity. Because we can't see it. There it is. See, even if I'm looking straight at it, that's the only way I'm going to see it. See? Unbelievable. Okay. Doesn't tell us what we got. Let's see. Four of them. Nice. Nice. So, we're making a little bit of money in progress. All right. And now the best thing I can do is I can find a cave that will be great... Definitely need more of this, because we're going to have to make some more dihydrogen jellies in order to get our life support going. And you know I always believe in taking the plants from every system that you're on. That way you can survive a planet. It gives you life support or hazard protection, one of the two. There we go. All right. Excellent. Looks like we got another one over here, and some more condensed carbon. All right, let's do that. Maybe we can get a hazard protection. Uh, more nanites. Okay. We got to check around here. Okay, there's our ships. You know how I feel about this. I know that Jason doesn't believe me, but if you see these ships turn, you know that they're turning in the direction that there's going to be a landing pad at. Okay, to the right. So we want to kind of head in this general direction. All right. Let's dig around this and see what we find. And it looks like my hazard is dropping. to recharge. Technology. Gotta be in this direction, I guess. Not seeing it. Oh, wait. Wait. There it is.
Good deal. All right, there we go. All right, so we're going to head in this general direction and see what we can find. All right. We want to look for plants, too. Anything that's a growing plant that is indigenous to the planet that we can gather, select. And we want to look around. Like, we got some plants. We've got some jade peas over here. Let's go ahead and grab those. Because those should help out, let's see, life support. Excellent. We still need our hazard protection, so finding a cave is really getting to the point where it's desperate. We really need to find ourselves a cave. But finding a building, more important. Might be a cave. That might be a cave. Yep, found a cave. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to do that, because that's the direction I'm going to have to head when I get out of here. And we're in a cave. As a protection should be climbing. Let's find out. 34, 35, 36. Okay, good, good. Excellent. And... You know what? We should analyze this. Oh, it's just a primary element. It's really not going to make it a difference to us. But this is going to be cobalt, and we can start building batteries out of it. There we go. Good. And it also doesn't tell you if you're getting geodes out of these things, too. Keep that in mind. Yep, primary elements. Okay, so none of our stalactites and stalagmites are going to be giving us any secondary elements, so cheapskates. Okay. I don't know if this is cobalt or not. It's got a kind of a goldish tinge to it. It may not be. Okay. Nope, it is cobalt. It looks like we got some geodes out of some of those. Uh, we got some ionized cobalt. That's nice. Uh, let's put the silicone in our air. Actually, what am I doing? Okay, how much we got left? Let's go ahead and get rid of it. We don't need it. We'll be getting more as we go along. We got some carbon. We got some condensed carbon. Uh, we got more of this. Let's go ahead and use it. Gen cobalt. We do have some ferrite, so let's go ahead and make ourselves some batteries. We'll get some ferrite as we go. All right, that should be good. And I'll put you down there. So things we're gonna sell. I'm gonna go ahead and put these things down below now. I think that it's a good idea we do that. Put the dihydrogen over here. Sodium in the corner. Everything we're selling, I'm going to put up top. Uh, I don't need to be looking at that. Okay, good. Fully charged in there. Okay, could use more of that as we go, but... Alright, so as we can see, we do have things we can gather down here and sell. We know that those albumin pearls are really not worth a whole lot, um, so it's really not valuable to me to get those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and gather up a little bit more cobalt so we can make more uh, batteries later, and we'll go from there. Now, I'm going to be keeping a close eye on the time. I'm not, you, don't, you notice I don't have a timer going right now, but I'm only going to spend one hour on this first run, and then I'm going to end that episode so that we can only spend one hour per time. There we go. How are we doing? Uh, cobalt, we're up to 114. Uh, let's see. I think that's going to be enough for now. Let's go ahead and get out of this cave. We're 
I think we're good enough right now. There we go, and we want to head in that general direction now. Got some more JPs over here. Let's grab them. Good. That'll keep our life support going until we can get uh, something else. Oh, a nice pretty planet up that way. <clears throat> now we want to keep a strong lookout for buildings or uh, any buildings. Uh, obviously crash ships. You know how I love to get a crash ship if I can. Um, we're obviously looking at plants. Because obviously sodium is something we're going to need in place of the batteries when we need it. Yep, see those guys are heading up and over. Very nice. And they keep going straight too. They're not going anywhere else. I might want to head in that general direction. I don't know. This is making a right hand turn from where we were. And it's getting to night time so we'll be able to find the plants via their uh, glow in the dark. So that's going to be nice. And you always want to keep a close eye out, especially for broken machinery. Hopefully we can get ourselves some hazard protection. Uh, no hazard protection. Okay. Man, I already hurt myself. Hey, and the buried technology is above ground. There we go. Yeah, I hurt myself even more. That's funny. We'll be alright. Just twisted my ankle. We're good. We're good. Oh, don't forget we need carbon, right? And, and that should be carbon. Yes, okay. Another singular ship. Looks like I have an oxygen patch in that distance. It's either oxygen or carbon, but I think it's oxygen. Okay, I didn't see where the pl where the where the ship went. Up oh, straight up again. Okay, so this is a good direction. We're gonna head this direction, I think. Nine percent. Let's get in here. Grab a battery. One. Now remember, I have 13 left. Let's see what happens. It used two for some reason. Looks like an oxygen patch. Good. Getting oxygen is kind of important. Helps us in a great many ways. Oh, nice one, too. Okay, so we're getting kind of fortunate with our run as well. Good. Looks like we got all the oxygen from this patch. We'll grab the sodium while we... Oh, that's a... That's not sodium. Sorry, buddy. I'll put that back. I apologize. Look at all that oxygen I just picked up. Cool. Alright, good deal. Let's grab the oxygen, throw it down here. We're in good shape as far as that's concerned. And we need carbon. We need carbon. There they go, and they're going mostly straight out that way, so I think we're in good shape going that way. How's our hazard doing? Wow, it's dropping fast now, man. Let's get used to this. Alright, again, keeping an eye open for buildings, as well as all the stuff we've been looking for. Plants and things like that. Uh, grass ships. Ouch, I just ran into something. We have no sentinels yet. Huh, remember that one run I did? I found that, uh... Just in case. We found that uh, one uh, sentinel, uh... pillar, and we were able to shut down the sentinels. That was very handy.
Again, keeping an eye open. him again this time. Okay. Really? It looks like my hazard protection's dropped again. 42%. Unreal. Is this hazard? Good. Boosted all the way to maximum. I might want to do this more often. I don't like listening to that voice all the time. I'd rather be just responsible for it myself when it comes to that. Get a little direction. Get a plant. Okay. Good. Ah, we got some condensed carbon over there. Good, good, good. Remember to keep an eye open for buildings. Kind of hard to see them sometimes. And we're not going to see them in our analysis visor. Excellent. And we should get enough from this to recharge our laser. Our mining beam, I should say. Now, I don't know if it just feels bad for you when you're in this condition and that they're giving you more stuff. But, we'll see. Yep. There they go. 42% again. Unbelievable. Hold off on the dihydrogen for now. So I'm really interested in seeing what's up ahead. And gotta get up to higher points and take a look around. Because that's the only way you're gonna find anything. Ah. That sucks. Okay. Yep, gonna use battery. Oxygen over there. We can use some oxygen right now, too. Mining beam. Oh, we're damaged. Okay, so we need some ferrite dust before we die. We just basically got damaged. Our has our, our life support got damaged. That's why we couldn't recharge it. There we go. Wow. Okay. It's a little more oxygen. So now they're heading to the left a little bit more. Interesting. I'll kind of go this way then. But again, we want to keep a close eye out. Oh, Sentinels are starting to pop up now, finally. pretty decent spot right here if we take a close look. Might be able to pick out something. Yeah, maybe not. Kind of hard to see. 
Let's get out of these rocks. Making me trip. Okay. So this is the trick here. Getting to the high points. Sounds like we get some more ships flying over. There we go. Got some damaged machinery over this way. Okay, so more of that direction is where we want to head. Uh, where did the damaged machinery go? Ah, oh, there it is. support. Okay. Need to dig out over here. I do not see any... above ground buried technology, if you will. There's that little blue spark sometimes that you'll see from these. Of protections dropping yet again. Yep. All right. See, they're following the countryside over there and not heading left or right. So I'm going to head in that general direction here, and then heading straight up. Look at that. So I think there's something over that way. But again, we really need to keep an eye on the surroundings, just to make sure there's nothing out here. Almost at daylight here. Hmm. Those look like... Yeah, sack venom. They will hurt you if you get too close. Especially without special gloves. Whoops, wrong one. Let's get up to the top of this hill and see if we can take a look around. Alright, here we go. Uh, let's see. Don't see anything. C-class shuttles. Looks like a fighter. And, of course, a hauler. B+. Plus. All right. There we go. Get up to another high hill here. Critical exposure in 48 seconds, so, yep, we're getting kind of low. Finding a cave might not be a bad idea. Got some more condensed carbon up ahead, as well as a plant that we can use. some 
some ferrite. Yeah, might as well grab that too while we're here. All right. Stick to high ground. There we go. And that's where we want to try to head. Looks like just a plant. You see how they go up and to the left a little bit, so it's a little bit more that way. But I need to take a close look around because you never know if there's going to be a building nearby. We could be walking past all kinds of stuff. Uh, you're kind of interesting looking. Is that machinery? Nope, that is a boost. Get us up here, that'll be good. Alright. See, now we got a really good view from over here of the whole surrounding area. But unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be much out there. Ah, I think we just used two. Just at the cusp. Looks like we got a cave down there, so if we got to get some more stuff, some more plants as well. So this is a little bit more nerve-wracking than doing any of the other runs. Okay, so while I'd like to continue in that direction, I think we need to take a pit stop and actually pick up some more stuff. Singular ship. So, I think there's a cave over to my right. I just want to see where the ship goes. I expect him to make a left. There we go. Okay, good. There we go. It's good to gather more resources when you can. Looks like we've got ourselves a cave. Take him out. So we'll get either oxygen or sodium from him. Alright. Oh, good. You're fair right. We can use that. I'll get rid of it if I have to. This is worth some money. Uh, it's hazard protection, which is not going anywhere. Looks like our oxygen levels are down, so we need to charge that. We've got plenty of oxygen here. Good. What's our multi-tool doing? Yeah, very nice. Keep that up to snuff. We'll go ahead and use some more some powder here. Get rid of the rest. Alright. Alright. Put you down here. Okay, good. Get ourselves some more cobalt and get ourselves some more batteries. And we do need ferrite. some plants. Okay. Really? We have platinum out of that? Interesting. How much ferrite do I have? Good. Make a couple more batteries. We need cobalt and we need ferrite. Some more cobalt. How are we doing time wise? We're at 35 minutes. Okay. I'd like to get 20 batteries. And 
we'll go ahead and clear all these out real quick. Uh, what are these guys here? Are these anything? Yes, they are. What do they give us? Carbon. How interesting. I think we got lucky as well, just like Jason did, in getting carbon from that cave. Because carbon is very, very handy to have. I mean, the condensed carbon is always better if you can get it, but it is what it is. I think those are all carbon. I think I want that. And that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 20. Now we do need more ferrite. I would like to have about 100 ferrite if I can gather that. Okay, so we're headed in this direction. Towards the plants. All right. Should be okay. Uh, wow. Okay. That was something. how much we got. 55 ferrite. That'll get us repaired if we get ourselves into trouble. Alright. Hey! Now there was a guy next to it. see what do we get out of that something we don't need more platinum okay good okay Let's see where those guys are headed I think they're already gone out of sight by now let's check these depression areas because you never know when there might be a ship sitting there love to get up there, but I'm going to hold off on that for now. I think we just need to keep pressing on and seeing where this ends up. Hey, some damaged machinery. You know, Jason found a couple buildings while he was playing at this point. Not me. Oh, yay. Yeah, bye. Don't need that. What we do need is the buried technology that might be here. Look in the direction that those guys are going. We're going to go elsewhere. Going to continue to head in the one direction. Uh, looks like we got some damaged machinery over here. Some more plants. A little bit of oxygen. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find hazard protection, possibly. No, more Starship launch fuel, because that's exactly what we're looking for right now. Hills. Let's get rid of everything. I'm 
Okay, well, this one doesn't want to be found, apparently. I see no telltale glow of it being here, so I'm going to let it go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Close eye open. Singular ship. Two ships. Pardon me, there's two ships there. And they're heading slightly to the left. Love to see them start circling something, but then again, I really don't have the money to buy it. Not that it makes a difference. Ow. Crap, did I damage anything? No. Okay, we're good. treasure trove worth of stuff right in this one area, so I figured I'd just go ahead and grab everything while I could. Oh, look at that. Alright. How we doing? Is that... You got magnetized fire right now, too? Alright, let's get rid of some of these things. We don't really need all that. Okay, about a hundred. We don't need you. Alright, any more plants? And maybe some places, some buildings, a crash ship, a friend, an Uber? How about an Uber? We can get an Uber over here, that'd be great. Alright, let's go ahead and use you. Alright. Then continue on. What's up, buddy? Crazy looking dude. Yep, there's some plants over there I could grab, that's alright. Let's get over there here to this damaged machinery. Okay, 15 minutes and counting, friends. Water protection on a planet with no water. <laughs> Just what I need. Thanks, man. Always appreciate that. The least you can do is give me your buried technology. Watch those guys and see where they go. Okay. We need to get to a high point, I think. It's time to start climbing a mountain. Yeah, these guys are going up and over, so I'm going to head in this direction. And I'm going to see if I can get up to a high point. Thing. Say anything that even looks remotely like a building. So let's keep going. Looks like we're almost at night time again. Nice. 
nice. Always can use the extra condensed carbon at this point. So we're not going to run out of anything for our mining beam anytime soon, so that's good. Life support is another thing. We just need to make sure we keep up on the uh, sodium and if we can find caves on occasion. But if life, as far as life support, we need more oxygen. That's what we're going to end up needing. Look at the backpack, and if you see the blue bar is about two-thirds of the way down, so we're in the 60 percentile area right at this point. There you go, guys. Ooh, that's a nice little ship. Fighter, C-class, nice. Six million. Hmm. Okay, anyway. What do we got from up here? What can we see? Doesn't seem to be anything in our immediate area besides a cave. So, we're heading for that mountain, or whatever you want to call it, right there. So we can get up to a really high point, and maybe that'll be one of our highest areas we will have gotten to. Get some more oxygen there. Yeah, we're in a new region, at least that's telling us that much. Usually new regions mean that there's like a uh, shelter or something nearby, but I haven't seen anything that even resembles one. I think we're okay. I don't think we need any more of that. Do you? I don't think so. Nighttime, we can see glows from certain things, so... How are we doing? Let's use that for this time. Nice. See, our life support's down to 34%, so if you look at our backpack, you see the blue bars down below. So... We'll go ahead and take some more oxygen into there. See? Bet you most of you didn't even know that that had a function. Uh, first building we come across, and it's a sentinel uh, place that I can't really even touch. So, yeah, I think I'll hold off on that. Thanks. Alright. So, we found ourselves a mountain. Let's climb and see what we can see. Now my record is an hour and 15 minutes. Oh yeah, this ought to be good. Puff, 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 puff. Okay. Sorry. I was thinking about doing my entire broadcast in the voice of Doofenshmirtz, but I think that's not probably a good idea. Might get in trouble for that. Ah, steep enough that I can use my jetpack all the way up. Good. Excellent. Ah, right, let's get to the far side of this thing and see what we can see. Uh, let's go up here. Ah, right, what do we got? Looks like we got a hazard protection that's getting too low. Let's go over there real quick. Looks like we got... Oh, great. Did I just break something? No? Okay, good. How come our... It dropped. Didn't it drop that much? That was weird. Just charged it. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything. Boy, aren't we fortunate. See absolutely nothing. Okay, we're going to go over to there and see what we can see. A couple more ships flying in that general direction. I don't see their trails going up into the sky anywhere, so... Oh, they disappeared. Okay. So this is going to be a challenge. I want to get over there. And I know I can't make it in one shot. So we may hurt ourselves on this one. Let's see if this works. Wow. I'd say we did pretty good there. It's okay. You can hold your applause. Uh, let's head over this direction. 
Take a look. Looks like nothing down there. Is our real hazard protection really dropping that quick and our health is dropping that fast? I mean, I know I'm using my jetpack a lot, but come on. Ah, well, be careful. Don't want to fall. I do not see anything out that way either. Oh, that's bad guy. Let's see. Okay. Wow. It might be something there. Uh, that could just be a deposit. And he's heading in that direction, too, so... Alright, we'll head there. This is our next mountain that we're going to head towards. Let's get up here. I don't know. It could be a building. It's not much of one, but it's a building. Alright, let's do it. And... Oh, ah. Good deal. Good deal. Nice job. Alright, 52 minutes in. So this is it. Whatever we find. And yeah, it looks like it's just a metal deposit over there. That's all that is. Alright. Alright. Not much going on over there. Okay. Again, we're going to head to that mount that mountainous range over there. Hmm. Interesting. I pitched tinnitus style ringing. Hey guys, how you doing? Down we go. Shadows across the landscape. Love it. I hate you. Did you damage me again? No? Yeah. Uh, let's go with you this time. Hmm. Alright. Got some plants in front of us. Let's grab that stuff. sodium. How special. I'll take it. Glow-in-the-dark animals. Love it. How much condensed carbon do we have? We have quite a bit. Um, uh, let's see. Plenty of oxygen. Let's go ahead and drop some more in there. What is this for? Life support? Yeah. Let's get rid of the silicon. We don't really need it. Alright. Let's keep going. More. That hurt. Okay, let's just keep going. Again, we want to keep a close eye. We're looking for damage. Machinery, buildings, crashed ships, an Uber. Looking for a fare. There's the mountains that we're heading towards. Neat that they have mountain look looks like they have clouds on top of them. It's, pretty cool. it's just a optical illusion from this distance, but it still looks pretty neat. Up we go. All right, we are getting to that point. We've got about 55 minutes in, just about. So we are going to start getting to a point where we're going to wrap it up. If we can find a cave, that'll be great. Building would be nicer. Maybe we'll just go a couple minutes past the hour. But I see that there's a damaged machinery over here. I'm going to head towards that, and I'm going to go up the hill, and we'll take a look around. Now, of course, if we see something that's obvious, it's like, hey, look, there's a crashed ship, or hey, there's a landing pad. 
um, trading outpost or something like that, then we'll obviously continue. But all right, what do we get? More starship launch fuel, yay! Because we need so much of that. Is that it over there? No, nope, that was just a glow in the landscape. Unbelievable. It's literally nothing, huh? These things aren't usually that deep. Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Nope, oh, that was dihydrogen, is what that was. Oh, it's almost becoming, like, ridiculous at this point. Come on, people. I just tore up half the mountainside here looking for it. It's not here. Alright, one more blast from this direction. It's probably standing on top of it or something. Nope. You know what that's called? I give up. Alright, up to the top of the mountains here. Okay. Here we go. So after this, we'll find ourselves some place to hang out. And we'll go from there. Really? Not gonna let me get to the top of the hill here, huh? Besides that lonely little sentinel over there, looks like there is nothing to see. I see absolutely nothing. Except a planet over there. It looks like it's got a moon in front of it, so we've got a pretty decent system here, too. Interesting. That's neat. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Again, let's check for damage. Oh, we gotta put the oxygen in. We didn't even know. Actually, no. What is that? Life support. That's what we could have used. Hmm, it was only partially charging it? Interesting. Over here. Interesting music change. All right. Oh, got a nice view from here. Look at that. Well, uh, that looks like yeah, one of those. That doesn't help us at all. Okay, let's go over to that area right there and just take whoa whoa okay yeah let's go all the way down the hill <laughs> and fall to our death yes that's what we're looking to do let's go over here and take a peek straight down because you never know How about you? I'm not seeing a whole heck of a lot of anything here. But over here. Oh, what do you know? Damaged machinery up here. Let's go ahead and grab it. Again, we're going to be going a little bit over the hour. We're just about at an hour now. 
Not much. We're going to come to a close here in just a minute. And more starship fuel. There it is. Good deal. Alright, so we're going to continue to the edge. Take another look around from the other spot over there. Oh, looks like we even have ourselves a cave over here. Is that right? Looks like we do. Alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a furrow in the ground right there. Let's go take a look from the edge, just make sure we're not missing something, that we're not ending a little bit too early. Ugh. Limitations that we have to deal with. And take a look down, and you never know, there could have been a crash ship straight below us. Don't see anything. And I see nothing out there. Zoom in just a little bit. A little bit more. Yeah. Well, I guess we're going to have to call it here. So we're going to call an end to this episode at this point. So we're going to get ourselves into that cave over here. Well, there's a cave right here. Right? No, this is not a cave. Go to the cave. Great, now we gotta find the cave, right? There it is. Alright, we got ourselves a cave. So, we know we're gonna head in this general direction. We're gonna just plow ourselves a hole in the ground knowing that we gotta go that way. Okay? And we will come back to this episode and continue on a little bit more. And this is not a cave. Regardless of the toxins that are there, let's go to the other one. Must be this one I was thinking of. There we go. Drop down. And in. Let's see how we do. Is it climbing pretty good? Yeah, we're climbing at a good steady rate. Alright, and where's our oxygen? There we go. Let's make sure everything's up to snuff. Oh, yeah, we already are there, that's for sure. Silicone. There. Alright, let's get rid of that. Looks like we got a good amount of items that we can sell so far. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, got about a million. Uh, let's see. So we're in pretty good shape. There we go. Alright, so it looks like we're going to go ahead and call it. And we just see where that ship is going, because that's kind of important. If I can get to the stupid edge before he disappears from sight. Alright, so he's headed in that general direction. So that's where we're going to probably be headed next in our next episode. So, let's go ahead and call it down there. And as soon as my save game goes into, into clarification there, it actually goes into effect... I'll go ahead and save my spot, and then we'll come back to this now, as I break my legs again. Not damaged, we're okay. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, then this is Alon Fall. Go ahead and hit that like button if you like what you saw so far. And catch me in the next episode. We're going to try to do these probably... I think I'm going to release these at least once a week, possibly twice a week, and see how we do until we can complete it. So... Again, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and we'll catch you on the other side. Take care.